Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to episode 101 of my Leeds United career mode. Now in today's episode, we've got some pre-season games to play, but there's also some transfers that we're going to hopefully get sorted as well. But before we get into things, um, first of all, thank you so much for the support on episode 100. It was incredible. I think last time I checked it was on 27 likes. Thank you so much for the fantastic support on that. I really do appreciate it. Um, so it was incredible to see that. Um, but also, there's something else I've got to mention. Um, there is a link in the description below for you to uh, go vote on what happens with my other career mode slot, um, which will be replacing the England career mode potentially. You can vote down in the description below. It's really quick, really easy, and basically determines what happens. Not to this career mode. This career mode is not um, affected at all, um, but it just determines what happens on the other videos that I do. Because usually I do two career modes. This is one of them at the moment, and uh, obviously I need another one, or I could just do this one every single day. So let me know by voting on that. That'd be really appreciated. And yeah, let's pretty much crack on with this video try and get ourselves um, basically trying to win the preseason matches I suppose but with rotated teams um, so it's going to be a little bit different to usual we're going to try a few different things out so this is the team I'm going to go with um, it's obviously changed as you'd expect it's preseason it's not going to be my strongest team uh, but I've tried to include some of my new signings in there Rossetti starts Seppi plays at right back Kurt Zuma Gordon Galloway make up the defence Samaris plays at CDM, Bridcut and Low in front of him. Um, and then we've got Antonio, our new signing, on the right with Entep on the left. I match up front. And yeah, let's crack on with this game. We need to start picking up the performance massively. Because uh, obviously the game that we played in the last episode didn't go too well. Um, but we just need to try and make sure our performance is much better. And we're creating chances that we can score from. And before we get into the game, if we could go hit 20 likes on this video, that'd be really appreciated. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Uh, we are getting very close to 4,000 subs now. So if you go and he ahead and uh, contribute to that, that'd be really appreciated. Um, as ever and uh, yes yeah, fantastic to see the support recently guys so let's get on with this game and try and uh, see whether we can get ourselves on the score sheet a few times slightly rotated team interested to see how low does in midfield one of our youngsters 70 overall currently uh, looks very promising and um, maybe he can uh, possibly get on the score sheet but as a midfielder it's always going to be difficult Galloway trying to thread it through early on that's not a bad start Okay, that's a shot that's gone all the way to Entep. He's kept it on. Oh my days, this could be a really strange goal if that one went in. That was an accidental shot by Low. Oh! And it's gone out for a corner. That's another half chance for us, I suppose. Uh, it's been a very interesting match, this one. Um, it's kind of been us dominating mainly, uh, but no clear cut chances. Kurt Zuma off the bar. What a header. And uh, it has been one of those sort of games where we've probably done the better um, in terms of chances, but we just haven't managed to find that clear-cut one to score from yet. Seppi, going to look for the ball through to Entep. Can he finish it off? He has done 1-0. That's the chance we needed. And we've taken Entep with a fantastic curled finish around the goalkeeper. It's deserved. And um, although you'd expect us to win this game quite comfortably, given the team that we're playing against, I mean, it's no Premier League opposition, but they are certainly playing like a Premier League team. Uh, they're very compact, usually at the back, and they're actually very fast going forward, good at passing as well going forward. So it's not too dissimilar to what we'll go up against this season. Um, so it's a good test for us, despite the level obviously not being um, the likes of... Uh, your big players, I mean, for example, Gareth Bale, we came up against Muller and Robben in the previous episode for Man United, so, you know, it's not those sort of players, but they're still a high-quality team, this one, despite the fact that maybe they're not the, the biggest club in the world. Oh, what a save, Rossetti! He's prevented that from being one all almost immediately from kick-off, and it is still 1-0. Just need to clear this one away, and that's a poor decision. Need to hoof it sometimes, and it's gone back in! And we're lucky that that's offside. That could have been one all, but it's not. I'm actually going to try and find Antonio. He's going to wrestle with the left back to get there. He has done. And it's cleared away in the end. And that is it for the first half. Still in the game 1-0. Uh, quite a dominant performance uh, in the whole for us. Obviously, they had a couple of chances a little bit later on. Uh, but in terms of the whole 45 minutes, we've definitely looked the better team. Uh, we actually will make some changes now, thinking about it. I forgot that we can make as many as we like with it being just a friendly. So we are going to bring on Kingsley Coman. And I think what we'll do is uh, take off Iron Acho. 
and uh, we'll just quickly change things around. I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, so I kept the uh, attack the same other than obviously bringing in Kingsley Cohen, but I've also brought on uh, Gomez as well, taking off Galloway, um, who I pretty much know everything about. He's had a very good first half, though, to be fair, Galloway, so uh, Gomez needs to try and step it up in this half for us uh, to try and fill his boots. And uh, yeah, let's see how Gomez gets on. Didn't have loads of game time for us last season, um, but, you know, he's still got a chance of fighting uh, with Galloway for a place. And I'm quite happy to give it to him if he needs it. He can obviously play centre-back and right-back as well. So I'm going to utilise him a bit more, I think, this year. Enteps looks much more lively than usual, uh, which is good news for him because he had a little bit of a disappointing end to the season. In fact, well, since he's joined the club, uh, he's been a bit disappointing. But that was uh, much better so far in this game. Antonio still going with this one. Plays it inside to low, who's looked actually very good when he's got on the ball for us. Samaris to shoot, and it's taken a huge deflection out for a corner. A very positive uh, game, actually, this one. It looks very good. Scoreline doesn't quite reflect that, but um, we'll continue to try and break them down if we can. And Joe Gomez on the edge of the box, and it's uh, obviously been chested straight to their player. Antonio, can you get a shot away here? Antonio, oh, it's being parried into the path of Entep, and I think that was going wide when it was deflected in. It looked to me like it had gone wide, that one. We'll have to watch it back on the replay. End up with the second goal anyway. Might well be down as an own goal if it wasn't on target. But brilliant bit of link-up play there. Britcut really getting forward a lot for us. And uh, yeah, I think Alan was going wide. But we'll take it 2-0. And it's fully deserved that we have been the better team by far. And it's just deflected into the opposition's goal. And it's time for our uh, a couple more changes, I think, for us here. We will take Britcut off. Uh, we're going to bring on Ramirez, we're also going to bring on Eric Dyer, take off low, and uh, move Samaris a bit further forward, just see what he's like. And uh, we'll bring off uh, Entep, we'll keep Antonio on I think for now though, uh, although saying that we've got Benikafoba who we'll bring on instead of Antonio. And uh, I think Jose Sat will stay on the bench, we won't make a goalkeeper change in this match. So the rest of the changes, other than the keeper, has been made, and let's see whether it benefits us going into the last 30 minutes. Coleman, going to try and play it through to Manny if he can keep this one on. It's a good attack from us, a counter-attack as well, because they've uh, just been on attack themselves. Can we play it into Ramirez if he's not offside? He might well have not. In fact, he wasn't offside, no, because it's gone out for a corner, and there's 12 minutes left here. So a good little move there on the counter-attack, looking very good going forward. Defensively, we've looked quite solid as well, and that's going to go out to Ramirez, try and head it back in, but it's punched away. And I think we have looked really good in this match. Very impressed. Manny will turn and shoot, and it's 3-0. Nine minutes left, and it rounds up a brilliant performance, that goal. Manny off the bench, scoring. And I just turned his defender and scored the goal. Fantastic stuff. And that is it, we've won the game 3-0, fantastic performance for us in our opening friendly match. And uh, yeah, really positive stuff, I'm quite enjoying these friendly matches to be honest. You can see we've dominated there uh, with shots and shots on target possession wise, nearly actually getting 50% which is very unusual for us. Uh, but yeah, if you want me to continue playing the friendlies, let me know in the comments below, um, because I only saw one comment about it, so I just thought, yeah, I'll play them because uh, he wanted me to. Um, so I decided to do that, and uh, yeah, I'm quite enjoying them, quite like the friendlies. Uh, it's good to explain with the team sometimes and uh, look at what sort of players you have. So we've got some emails here from the goalkeepers that I was looking at in the previous episode if you didn't see them. We've got Marston saying I'm happy with his role at the club. But first of all let's deal with these and um, we've got Thomas Kraft um, accepting the contract that we offered him so he's able to come in if we would like him to. We've also got Norwich accepting the bid that we put in for Jake Keane. That was five million and Jose Sa. I'm more keen uh, about getting Jake Keane. That was no pun intended there. Um, but he's he's 28 years old, 80 overall, and he's English. That's the main thing. I want to try and get an English goalkeeper, and he appears to be the best one that I can get. So we're going to put him as a crucial first team player. And um, there are other options, obviously, for English keepers. Um, but Joe Hart's very pricey, and there's not too many others. Uh, obviously, Butland, who he sold because he wasn't good enough in game. So we're going to leave uh, Thomas Kraft. For now, uh, we won't bother accepting that unless, obviously, the Jake Keane deal um, doesn't develop any further. Let's move on to some play development now, and I'm going to change around the five players and see who we're going to train this week. Okay, these are the five players that I've gone for. Um, I'm trying to redeem Batiste a little bit, because since he went out on loan to Bolton, I think it was, he hasn't really grown that much, and we need to try and get him growing again. So I'm going to try and train him up. He looked really promising when he originally came through the youth academy.
academy, but now he's not really lived up to those expectations and kind of just stayed at 72. Um, also, Lowe looks like a very good replacement for Lewis Cook, um, who a couple of you want me to get rid of because he's not been good in game for me, um, which is understandable. Uh, and obviously, Lowe, I believe is English anyway, uh, will be a very good replacement for him. In game, he looks really good. Uh, we've got Notts County saying that they'll match the Bright Spence amount that we're after, and Barnett are not happy with the Dean... Um, Marsden offer that we asked for, but we are actually going to accept that one because it's not too far off his valuation, so I think it's fair enough to accept it and uh, let Dean Marsden go. And we've got a bid in there for Jose Sam, which I think we got in the last episode, uh, which we're going to ignore for now. Uh, Southampton have accepted the bid I put in for um, Van Dyke, our new, possibly our new centre back. Uh, we've put in Seppi there as part of the deal. I think we'll go ahead with this one, we'll go three year deal. Um, I don't want to replace too many of my players in the team, but obviously I think Congolo is going to be leaving, so we'll go crucial first team player, um, because I'm going to be trying to get rid of Congolo, who's not looked as good um, as I would hope in game. Uh, so we're going to get rid of him, try and get a new centre back, and hopefully it's going to be Van Dijk, who I think should be quite good in game, very tall, strong, and quite fast as well. Um, now we've got another game against Lazio, um, Andre Silva wants to start this match. Okay, so uh, we might have to do that. I wasn't planning on starting for any of them, to be honest, because I already know what I've got with him. But since he's asked, I probably will. Um, so I'll change around the team. Probably be a few more changes than usual in this match, so be prepared for that. Um, but let's see what sort of side I can put out. Okay, so this is the team I'm going to go with. Quite a few changes here, but there's also some usual names I have in the team sheet. Um, we've got Grounds in goal. I'm a third-choice goalkeeper. He actually looks really good, stats-wise. Um, he looks decent considering his age. Um, so I'm going to try and get him in the team here. Six foot two, 17 years old. So it is quite a risky one. I mean, he's just the same age as me and he's playing against Lazio. It's a bit weird. Um, but we've got Nelson at right back, Capella and, um, the centre back that I can't pronounce the name of, uh, playing alongside him. Killock, uh, starts at left back, our third choice left back at the moment. I um, just want to give him a bit of a go because I think he's another 17 year old as well. Ramirez at CDM, Cook and Phillips make up the rest of the midfield. I want to give Cook another chance. Uh, starting in this match. Silver on the right hand side of centre attacking mid, Manny on the left with Nelson Oliveira up front. A player that I'm planning to sell, but again, want to give him another chance. I want to see what he does um, up there by himself, obviously with the, su the support of Manny and Silver. And we've got some other players, as you see, on the bench. Um, Polos makes on there, um, who hasn't really been given a fair go, I don't think, in game. So we'll give him a go, hopefully, at some point, uh, and we'll just see how that team goes. There's also Ledesma and uh, Mitch Batiste as well. I want to give a game, I think, probably in the next episode, uh, but we'll obviously have to wait and see. So yeah, let's go on with this match against Lazio now, see how we get on, and try and come out with another positive result and performance. Here we go, much tougher game obviously than the last match, we've actually heard of this team, uh, I think I did recognise the name of the other team, but I certainly didn't know any of the players, um, here it's going to be a bit more difficult obviously, and I'm sure we'll see that, uh, so to keep a clean sheet would be a very big achievement for us in this game, and uh, yeah, let's just see how we get on I suppose, um, we don't necessarily have to go out there and try and thrash them, uh, it would be nice to have a decent performance against them. Silver coming inside here, going to have a shot, Silver takes a huge deflection out for a corner, that's our first shot of the match. And uh, Silver looking very good at the moment. Mane's going to have this one. Going to put it into the box. We've got Capella in there. And it's gone in. It's another own goal. I don't know if the other one went down as an own goal, to be honest, in the last match. But that one certainly will, I'm sure of it. Mane with the cross there. And I don't know what the defender's doing at all. But it's gone in the back of the net. And we'll take it 1-0 after 9 minutes. We've not really done too much. We're only 9 minutes in. Um, but certainly that is a very bizarre goal. Um, not really too sure what's going on there with the defence, but we'll take it. Uh, they're clearly playing some um, younger players, I'd imagine, as well, judging by that sort of performance at the back. Oh, the through here, it's a good chance. Oh, nearly went in. And I probably should have scored that one, to be honest, so a one-on-one with the goalkeeper. Obviously, Grounds isn't the most established goalkeeper, so maybe they should have scored that. But a good chance, luckily for us, though, it didn't go in. And as of the first half, still won the game 1-0, and we really have limited them to most uh, to any chances, to be honest. They've only had that one uh, one-on-one -on -one attempt against our goalkeeper, which they missed. Uh, but in general, it looks very good. It's been a little bit scrappy at times, but I think that's mainly down to them trying to long ball it sometimes as well. Uh, we'll keep the team the same, though, I think, going into the second half. We'll probably make changes quite quickly, though. It is now time to make virtually all of those changes again, but um, we're not trying to get rid of our goalkeeper. We're going to keep Grounds in goal for the rest of the match. Uh, so basically I brought on Gomez, Dyer, Polis, um, we've also got Antonio, Coleman and Benny Kafoe coming on. That means I've taken off a lot of players. Ramirez, Nelson, Cook, Mane, Silva and Nelson Oliveira. 
So I got Gomez playing it right back. We're going to give that a go, just try and experiment with things a little bit. And pretty much everyone else remains the same. Antonio going to break here with Kingsley Coman. This is straight from their corner. Coman, who's only been on the pitch a couple of minutes. Can he finish it off? What a save that is from the goalkeeper. Whew, so close to being 2-0. But it's a hell of a save. Gets his arms out to it really quick. Great reactions. And it's out for a corner. Can we do anything from this? Hollis, who's just come on. Let's see what his delivery's like. Not too bad, actually. Maybe a little bit near the goalkeeper, but not bad. And then with our centre-back, we're going to have a shot. It's fallen to Benikafobe. He's going to go for another shot off the post. Diving header by Eric Dyer, but doesn't quite get there. Out for another corner. Let's play it onto the edge of the box. See how he gets on doing that. And uh, it's going to be to Polis, who's directed it away from goal. And it might well be a corner again, is it? Yes, it is. Let's try and do it again. Antonio will take it. Benikafobe is actually there this time. Doesn't connect well, though. Benikafobe going to look for Kingsley Coman now, who's looking much better on the left. But that's a hell of a tackle. And apparently it's a penalty. Well, I think uh, they have been hard done by there. And that's a red as well. Wow. For me, he got the ball. Um, I'll be honest with you. I think he got the ball. I'd be disappointed if that was a red and a penalty against me. Um, I think that one, to be honest, is is not a penalty. We'll have a look on the replay again, though. Uh, see what I think. He does come across the player. And he does obviously make contact with the player. But for me, I think he gets enough on the ball. Uh, and I think that probably shouldn't be a penalty. I thought it was a good uh, tackle at first, to be honest. But we'll take the penalty. Uh, I think we'll get Polis to take it, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, see what he's like at penalties. Uh, number eight, that's probably not quite right. But uh, we'll let him take the penalty. And it's gone in 2-0. Fantastic penalty from him. And uh, the youngster gets on the score sheet. Kingsley Coman looks fantastic on the left. He really looks so much better uh, than he has done when he's played up front. That's a good ball in as well to Coman, who connects with it. And it's pushed onto the post and eventually goes out for a corner. What a save that was again by the goalkeeper, who has really kept him in this match fantastically with a, a few really good saves. Capella's going to get on the end of this one. Not quite onto the edge of the box, as I'd hoped, though, that cross. And again, another chance for Antonio to put it in for Afobe this time. I think I'll be offside. Trying to thread it through to Benik Afobe. It's a good chance on his left foot, and it's 3-0. Fantastic finish, that one, from Benik Afobe. And there's only 12 minutes left. And it's 3-0. Another comfortable victory for us in this match. But a bit more of a challenge this time. And we've certainly looked up to the challenge. Uh, defensively not really being challenged too much this second half. Uh, but certainly that's a fantastic finish on his weaker foot there. 3-0, 12 minutes left. Cohen on to Antonio. It's a good little run here. Trying to find Cohen maybe in the middle with the cross. Cohen! Oh, what a save from the keeper. Who is this guy? Let me sign him up. What reflexes he's got. Unbelievable. He's kept it from being an absolute thrashing in this match. It's going to be into the back post for Eric Dyer. And uh, nearly found him, but Gomez will collect the pieces. And it's going to be a shot again here, but deflects towards the keeper. And as it, we've won the game 3-0. Fantastic victory from us yet again. Brilliant performance. Uh, now we just need to try and apply this sort of style and performance level into the Premier League matches, uh, which is obviously going to be the next challenge. Uh, but yeah, we've won this game 3-0. Again, dominated the shots. Um, Possession-wise, a little bit lower than before, obviously. Uh, but the three points is the main thing. Six points now for a possible six, which is great in this uh, Champions Trophy that we're doing at the moment. And uh, we'll have to wait and see what the next game is that we've got. It is going to be against um, Independiente, I think is how you pronounce the name. Uh, so quite a decent team. Team actually um, obviously not again not quite Premier League level but we'll uh, try that match in the next episode if you'd like me to start playing them or continue playing them I should say rather uh, Silva's happy that he played the last match and transfer offer in for Yedlin not interested in getting rid of him at all so we'll reject all offers for him I still think he's going to be a really crucial right back for us we'll leave the Jose Sa one because we've got Jake Keane coming in um, to replace Jose Sa who has been disappointing towards the end of last season Hopefully Jake Keane can put in a better shift. He'll probably start the next match, I'd imagine. Give him a go in goal, see what he's like. And uh, 80 overall. Uh, reactions, 82, very good. And um, we've got stats there, pretty decent. Kicking, obviously, not too good. But I think any goalkeeper's kicking is good enough on this game, to be honest. Six foot four, 28 years old, English as well. So, looking decent. Um, let me know again in the comments who you'd like me to sign um, as well. I really appreciate that. I'm not going to make any other big signings, I would imagine, in this episode, because uh, I'm still waiting on what you guys want me to do. Um, also, I can't guarantee an episode of the Leeds Career Mode tomorrow, uh, because it depends, obviously, what you voted for in the description below on that link. Um, if you voted for me to continue doing these every day, then obviously you'll have an episode tomorrow. Um, 
Um, but if you haven't, then it'll be probably the new career mode tomorrow, I'd imagine, starting. So, um, yeah, don't forget to vote. That's the main thing in the description below. And, yeah, basically, that is pretty much it for this episode. Uh, we played a couple of decent matches there, some good performances. Uh, we've also, obviously, got the uh, next friendly coming up. In terms of other signings, I'm just going to wait until you guys let me know in the comments. Um, we'll probably make some more signings next episode. I'm not going to make signings for the hell of it. Um, I'll just make signings dependent on what you want me to do. Um, we've had Odegaard mentioned, which is obviously what I'll look at. Uh, Tillyman's uh, another player that we've been that's been mentioned as well. I don't really want to get him in, even though he's really good. Um, but I don't know whether he's quite um, original enough, if you get what I mean. A lot of people do try and sign him. So, decent suggestion. He's obviously a very good player, uh, but not, I don't think, someone that I'll be uh, trying to get in. Uh, but we've got Odegaard, who I could look at. He's 72 overall. I've scouted him. Uh, he's on my shortlist, anyway, I should say. Um, but he's 72 overall, 20 years old. Is that good enough? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. We've also got Van Dyke, who we could probably sign uh, before the end of this episode. But a lot of players on my uh, shortlist here, as you can see. Odegaard there, stats wise, still doesn't look good enough in my opinion. Uh, we've obviously got a lot of players there who I could potentially sign. Tevez would be quite interesting to get in alongside Aguero. Obviously he's 35 now, so it'll be a, a bit of a strange one, but I wouldn't rule it out. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it, I would imagine, for this episode. We'll try and get in Van Dyke if we can before it ends. Uh, but we'll see what comes back on the emails. Player sold, that's probably Marsden, uh, or one of the other youngsters that we're trying to get rid of. And it's actually both of them, I'd imagine, that's gone here. Spence and that is Marsden. Both of them have gone. Bid in for Andre Silva. 23.5. Absolutely no chance. Worth triple that, in my opinion, to be honest. Um, so definitely no to that one. Can we get in Van Dyke before the next friendly? Be nice to try him out if we could. And um, we've got a lot of emails back here. Van Dyke accepts the contract. And we have got him in. Seppi leaves us. Um, he actually didn't do too badly in the friendlies, but for me... He's, there's no point having him in the team. I've got other options at right back and now obviously a better option at centre back as well. And uh, we'll probably take a look at some of these players now just to finish things off in this episode. Um, we've got a, a play here. It looks quite decent actually. A striker, 92 finishing um, potential in him. Definitely 25 years old, 81 overall. Don't really need strikers to be honest, but I'm just curious to see how he was doing. Got IU there at West Ham. Harry Arter who looked really good. I uh, don't know what overall he is though. 78, 29 years old. Stats-wise, not too bad, but maybe a little bit old for us. And Tosun, who I nearly signed, uh, I think it was last season, uh, from Swansea. Again, looking quite good, but 28 years old, not particularly young. So I'll probably leave that one there. That is it for this episode. Uh, don't forget to obviously leave a like. If we could go hit 20 likes on this video, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to go hit the subscribe button as well. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Don't forget to vote, and don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think about potential signings for the next episode. Episode 102. Wow, can't believe we got that far. Thank you all for your support recently. It's been really appreciated. And yeah, that is it. That is it for the episode. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time, and goodbye.